Now do what you like. Do what you like. Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Ray of Sunshine. Today I'm gonna be talking about my college experience as an artist and just basically like, you know, where I started to where I am now. I major in visual arts with a concentration in school and community settings with a minor in sociology. And how it all sums up to you putting yourself first. If you want to continue watching this video, feel free to subscribe. So when I graduated high school, I graduated 2014 and I started college around the summertime because I was in EOF. So immediately had no time to like take a break. I went straight into school, summer courses, and I ended up staying at that two year school for four years. I didn't graduate till 2014 and it's okay. Back in those days, I was stuck on, you know, I'm never going to be done. How long is it gonna take me? I was so fixated on like when I was going to finish. The thing is I finished and I'm glad. When I started college, I had no idea what I wanted to do. I did know that I wanted to incorporate some type of art within my learnings. So I started out like, all right, I'm gonna just get a regular liberal arts degree and I'm gonna follow up with psychology. And that, my friend, is when I knew I messed up. Why'd I do that? I don't even know. I mean, I, I do know, but we'll get to it. And to be honest, I hated, it. I hated it, but I was doing it because I was being told like, oh, artists won't make any money. There's no money in that field. I to think realistically. Guys, <laughs> the many times that I've heard that, I would be rich already. Yes, I did that. And <clears throat> what happened? I was there, but while I was in college, I got real sick. I was already in the midst of, I think, I'm not sure if I had changed my major to visual arts already by then, but I think I did, I'm not too sure. Three years ago, I had a blood clot in my brain and it's called an ischemic stroke. I finally said it right. That's basically when the blood clot was not outside, but it was bleeding within the vein itself. I had to stay in ICU for a whole entire week. And throughout that time, like I'll never forget, I kept playing Find Your Wings by Tyler the Creator. Every day, like I kept playing Find Your Wings, Fly, Find, Find Your Wings. We can go down to the rainbow, find a way. But yes, that's that's my song. During that time, like I wasn't even thinking, why is this happening? But I'm like, what is this teaching me? Whew. So emotional, the amount of times that I cried because I was so frustrated with my situation, not being able to walk for a while, not being able to like, take a shower and use the bathroom like a regular person would like I really felt helpless it wasn't until my last day where they had me practice walking like one more time to like get used to being on my feet because the nurse saw that I was scared and she was like when you get out of here I want you to continue living your life because I see that you're scared but I'm taking a walk around like the ICU unit and I'm looking at all the people around me. They were like, like, you know, vegetable. They couldn't get up. They had tubes in their throats and things like that. I'm just like, wow. While I have the chance to live, I need to be doing what it is that I wanna do. I had my first art show. I was getting more involved. Um, had an art show at Trent Social, started selling artwork, doing commission artwork, paint and sips. So yeah, like I started, you know, not taking my talents for granted and saying that I've been given this gift. I, I can create 
from my mind like I can use my imagination to create things that don't exist like what are you doing if you don't stop being in your head and show that to the world share that with the world so that was the one situation now I'm here at Montclair State so I got accepted to the art program and my minor is still psychology I ain't learned the first time. Like, I'm thinking, you know what, maybe my studying habits wasn't right, and I just was not putting my all into it. Let me stop cutting myself short and do this. I automatically knew that this was not the right path for me. I automatically knew that I was not going anywhere with it. But I had to take it because at the time my minor was still psychology. So I took it and I dropped. I, I took it, and once I passed, I passed with a C. Plus. Hey, y'all. I was so happy I changed my minor to sociology. And the reason why like I ended up having a minor is because I keep in mind I wanted to be an art therapist. So I keep my minor in sociology, whatever. Things are good. Like I've taken a sociology course before when I was at Mercer County. All the we ain't do nothing in that class. Going into Montclair. Um, I liked it. I'm trying to figure out like am I gonna Am I gonna doing research? Am I gonna get a master's in sociology? Should I go back to school for this? And doing all this research. And there's still times where I haven't picked up a paintbrush in weeks. Or having the urgency to make something, express myself. And didn't really have time for it like that. Like, yeah, I got art classes, but it's just not the same. Like being told to make something and doing it because you want to, two different kinds of things here. What I've learned to kind of make things easier so college won't be such a drag. I've just been applying more of my personal life and feelings into my art when it comes to creating my projects. <sighs> I say all this to say, I'm going to be graduating on time next year, spring 2021, okay? And I ended up dropping my concentration and my minor. And I know for those who are watching this, you guys are probably like, why'd you do that? I did it because I want to. I did it because I can. And if I'm going to be in school taking out a mass amount of loans, I might as well be getting a degree in something that I like. Other people are saying like, oh, you should have some type of plan B just in case things don't work out. In any situation, that can happen. Like you don't see, like you probably do see people like double majoring, double minoring, but that's rare. Like if somebody really wants to be a psychologist, they believe that they can do it and that's what takes them far not the fact that there's money in it and there's a possibility of them getting a job. I don't see anything wrong with me wanting to be an entrepreneurial artist. I think what my goal right now that I need to work on is figuring out what is my gap that I'm trying to fill and coming up with a specific plan on what it is I'm going to be doing and how I'm gonna do it. But boy, I feel great, I feel light. Cause before I'm like, how the hell, I have all these classes, all these credits left. I'm supposed to be graduating next year. Like this does not look realistic. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I mean, I would have gotten it done, but it's just like, and not to take away from anybody's teachings and stuff like that, but I just kind of feel like you can easily learn about politics history sociology psychology if you take the time out to really equip yourself do research do reading and you can learn yourself all college is is a business so you literally they're paying someone to teach you and you're paying to be taught that's all it is from someone who is at a higher level than you are and i just kind of feel like Anybody, if you want to learn something, you could easily teach yourself. It was not the easiest decision to make. Trust me, it was not. Because it's like, where I am now, like, I'm honestly getting started. Like, I'm still putting myself out there. I'm still 
making things work. But most importantly, I'm believing in myself that I can do it. I don't care what anyone else has to say or lectures. You can save it. I'm making this decision for me because this is the best thing for me. And I say all of this because like, I don't want to make a decision to please someone else or just doing something that I don't want to do and I end up regretting it. You can be making all the money in the world and still be unhappy. So as long as I'm good, like, and I'm not starving, like, I just want to get to a point where like I'm helping, like I'm building a foundation to help other artists. How am I going to do that? I don't know yet, but I could still incorporate some type of art theory art therapy practices within my my stories up guys if you are contemplating on making a huge decision and you don't know what to do or you're still figuring things out i'm just letting you guys know that it's cool everything is a process but whatever decision you make make sure you're doing it from the heart and because you want to not because others want you to do it or what other people would think because i'm telling you child I be in my head sometimes and we we stop ourselves from growing we stop ourselves from getting to where we need to be sometimes sometimes it don't want to be other people it be you it be you not being consistent you get what you put out so i know this is going to be not easy but i'm prepared and to be honest i've survived so much throughout my life especially living through a blood clot i'm gonna live my life the way i want to and i'm gonna be happy <laughs> while doing that okay no regrets none so i know you guys are probably wondering what is this art piece this is an art piece that i did in 2017 and her name is rose golden she's supposed to be a self-portrait and I know you're probably saying like, oh, she doesn't really look like you. That looks nothing like you have been told. I saw this Japanese saying, and it said, if you were to see yourself, like you just so happened to be walking down the street one day and you were to see yourself, you probably wouldn't even recognize yourself. And I was inspired by that. So I kind of drew this woman with some you know similar features of myself and this is how she came out all imaginary all from my mind sooner or later once i get to her because i have so many paintings that i have to go through and projects that i'm working on like i said i'm allowing myself to be patient and take my time she i'm gonna do her over i'm definitely may stick with the whole black and white theme but this is just graphite pencil with black paint in the background. So I'll probably end up laying some oil paint on her. Collarbones, honey. Yes. But all right, guys, that is the end of this video. Short, sweet, and simple. Last video was 26 minutes. I'm still new. Bear with me. I just want to thank those who are watching. I hope that I was able to give you some type of insight on whatever it is that's going on in your life. And if not, I hope you enjoyed this video because I am learning to get comfortable with talking to you guys. And to be honest, the more I do this, the better it gets. Don't forget to like. Hold up. Don't forget to like and subscribe my video Cause you know I'm about to go out the door And I gotta go get my money today I'm an artist but I still get paid I don't got time for being broke When I drop my stuff they thought it was a joke But I'm telling you I'm about to pop out And when I do, I'm gonna shout It's like <laughs> <laughs> But thank you guys Please like, comment, share my video and if you want to be a part of the Ray of Sunshine family, feel free to subscribe. And thank you so much for your support. Have a great day. Peace, guys.